Happy National Pickle Day from us here at Fox Carolina, and we are so excited. We're talking pickles and everything green, as you can see. Uh, joined by Heather Bauer from DJ's Pickles out of Asheville. You're a co-owner, and you brought some goodies for us today. Absolutely. Okay, so tell us about the story of DJ's Pickles. Well, DJ's Pickles is in its third year. Okay. Um, we are making our pickles out of the WNC Farmers Market in Asheville. Mm. Um, we kind of started with something called the Silly Dilly that was the inspiration for all of our other products. Chef Don Polino was the founder of DJ's and had been running a food truck and early on in the pandemic, people were missing the pickles. Ah, of course. They were like, where are they? <laughs> where can we find them? So out of that was born DJ's. Awesome. Um, so that's the very short version on okay. today's National Pickle Day. Um, but over the years, we've not only added different products to our repertoire, mm -hmm. if you will, but we have a really fun brand and a great customer base um, in Western North Carolina and all across the country. So, so cool. And we love that it's local. It's yeah. family owned. It's family operated. It's small batch. Everything we do is small batch, chef crafted, start to finish by hand. So we really love to take the taste and the inspiration mm -hmm. of Western North Carolina into what we do. One thing I want to just yeah. add is that National Pickle Day really started to show that pickles were the country's favorite fermented food. Uh -huh. Nothing that DJ's does is fermented. So we oh. offer what's called a refrigerator pickle. So from start to finish, the process takes several days. We take the freshest produce okay. and our process really results in a nice, crunchy, flavorful, mm. colorful pickle. We also do things like relish. So mm. we relish the moment. Relish the um, moment of the pickling. Yeah. And, and I think it's become such a fun thing for, you know, for kids and families to share. You even have them in little snack packs. And it's such a, it's a healthy treat on the go, especially in Western North Carolina. People are out and about, they're hiking, they need something on the go. This is the perfect little thing. So the small batch on the go, little pickles. And I do want to try what the OG pickle. This is the OG. So okay. this is how it all started. This, this is called the Silly Dilly. It's a such hybrid a silly dilly. between a bread and butter and a dill. Mm. Mm. We should Fabulous. have moved your mic up to hear the crunch, the snap. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Like you said, it's a good hybrid because it's a little sweet, but then you get a little bit of the salt. Yeah. Mm, I could see why that's a hit. We make it to a lot of charcuterie boards. Oh. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> we have a charcuterie board, especially around the holidays. Yes. And the cool thing is too, we can find them here in the Greenville in the upstate area yes. at some of our local shops. Yes, the New York Butcher Shop has been a wonderful customer of ours. So we don't just sell out of our own shop. Mm -hmm. um, we work with businesses, specialty markets, uh, restaurants, wineries, breweries. Mm -hmm. So the New York Butcher Shop on Pelham Road, Woodruff Road, right here. and then Simpsonville, <laughs> right here. Right across the street, so, our neighbors, yeah. I know. <laughs> and one final thing, this is really unique. It's got me excited, Pickleade. Uh, so it's a combination of lemonade, lemon, it's a le fresh squeezed lemon juice, Silly Dilly pickle juice, yes. the one I just tried, then some water and sugar. So what was the inspiration behind this? So, you know, we use a lot of the pickle juice, mm -hmm. um, both for drinking as well as for cooking with. Um, we were inspired to bring lemonade and pickleade together, almost like an Arnold Palmer. Oh, um, so Arnold Palmer out of our, pickles. yes, exactly. So out of our sandwich shop, we get a lot of people coming to us. They want to be refreshed. They want to try something that's a little bit sweet and just delightful. Oh, so um, that's where this came from. Right. And we're gonna I'm going to gonna cheers you. We're going to yeah. cheers to the pickleade and National Pickle Day. That's right. Oh, what do you wow. think? So good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a new hit. No, so a lot delicious. of people tell me it feels like they're transported to the beach. Mm -hmm. mm. And we I have to finish mine. Yeah, so good. good. And we have fans from young to old. So that's the other oh, part about gosh, DJs. As a family owned business, we meet a lot of people who are trying pickles for the first time. Mm -hmm. So young kids to older adults. So there is truly a generational nature to pickling as a process. Um, but also one of the things that we love most about this business making people smile. Yeah. No, oh, well, that's yeah. what we're doing today and mm -hmm. all about the pickle, learning some new things too. So we appreciate you being here. Yeah. Uh, peace, love, and pickles. Peace, love, and pickles. Right? Thank you all for having me. Yes, we love it. Yeah, thank you.